What's happening? Ron Green by Design Fitness and Nutrition. Been a little while since I've done a video explaining what we're all about. Uh, I am the, the, the founder, owner, sole proprietor of the, uh, uh, of the business, and we're a Christ-centered health and wellness company that believes that simply that God's food heals and man's food kills. Uh, what we do is we sit down and we talk to you, and we can do this online. I, I got uh, over 40 clients that we're coaching currently, and they range all over the southeastern United States. we got several local clients. We have clients in uh, 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 Georgia. We have clients in Mississippi. we got clients just all over. And what we do is we sit down and, and we talk to you, whether on the phone or uh through Facebook Messenger, we email you a questionnaire, or I call you and do the questionnaire, and I get some information from you. What I want to know about is your, your current situation, you know, how much you weigh, of course, how tall you are, how long you've struggled with your weight, any health issues that you have, and uh, the biggest thing is, is your current eating habits. Now, I'm all about getting you into a state of what we call ketosis. See, it's a fact. God did not create your body to burn carbohydrates as fuel. God created your body to burn fats as fuel. So what we do is we take a slow approach of converting your body from burning the carbohydrates that's causing you all the problems to burning the, the, the fat as fuel. That way there's not that initial sugar detox uh, um, problem that is so problematic when people try the ketogenic diet. And we also take a look at your metabolism. A lot of times we get, I get clients that, you know, some of them uh, 100, 200, um, some of them even 300 pounds overweight. Uh, and they're eating once a day and can't lose any weight. Doesn't make sense. They're having 1,000 calories a day and not losing weight. Why is that? Because their body has adjusted. The metabolism has slowed so far down. No matter what they do, they can't lose weight. So we adjust that metabolism by feeding you a lot of food. Not bad food, but good food. It blows their mind how they can go from eating crackers and, and, and chicken soup and kale and lettuce and yogurt and uh, drinking diet sodas and, and having the occasional french fry or something like that or the occasional pack of chips how they can go from eating so little to eating six times a day and drop up to 20 pounds in seven days how does that happen well it's not that complicated see i don't treat your weight loss see your weight loss is just a symptom your, your weight is a symptom and what i had to do is i had to treat your hormones and we deal with four main hormones insulin ghrelin, leptin, and cortisol. And if I can get those hormones lined up, man, miracles happen. Let me tell you what a miracle is. God's food heals, man's food kills. I got a client, a local pastor, been with me about 10 weeks. Uh, he and his wife, I guarantee you, Monday when they weigh in, they'll be have lost over 100 pounds. Now, listen to this. Blood pressure medicine, gone. Cholesterol medicine for her, gone. Diabetes medicine for her, gone. Been dealing with hormone issues for 10 years. Man, eight weeks in, go back to the doctor, get some blood tests. Guess what's normal? Her hormones. I can't tell you the number of people that I've reduced their blood sugar from three to 400. Running to in the low 100s in seven days. I've had people get off blood pressure medicine in six days. How is that possible? It's not a miracle. It's not rocket science. It's real simple. And yeah, I know I'm a tense. Listen, I'm a Pentecostal preacher. I get excited. I'm a Pentecostal preacher and a bodybuilder. Go figure. It's not that complicated. It's simple. But what you need is you need someone to help you through the process. Three percent. Three. Three percent of the people who decide to go on a diet and lose weight. Three percent. 97% gain at least 11 pounds back. And during the time, because they're eating so little, their body begins to consume what muscle they have through the release of cortisol, which takes your muscle and turns it into glucose. Yeah, that's what happens. So the 11 pounds that they gain back on average is fat. Listen, I can help you. I know I'm intense. I'm not always as intense. Actually, people say, Man, I heard you preach and you always talk so low. 
you're so you you talk so low, and then I hear you preach, and it's like bam, something happens. I get excited. Jesus gets me excited, and I know that Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, led me to this. And we're seeing lives change. Period. Lives change. Let me tell you something. You're a pastor. You love your people. You want them off blood pressure medicine. You want them off cholesterol medicine. Invite me to your church to do a seminar. I won't try to sell anything. I will just come do the seminar and leave information. That is if you love them. But I know some of you are struggling with loving yourself because you're still holding on to that food. See, somehow you think that your eating habits are not quite as bad as the next fellow's habits. I mean, you know, if, if you, the preacher got up behind the pulpit lit up a Marlboro Red. I mean, how would you feel? What about after church when he goes to all you can eat buffet and commits gluttony? I ain't trying to beat you up. I ain't trying to bash you. I'm as jacked up as a 2001 Chrysler Sebring with 287,000 miles. I got issues a mile long. But the only way an issue ever gets better is number one, you gotta admit you have an issue. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, humbling themselves to saying, hey, I got a problem, I need help. I had to do that. I said, hey, I got an addiction to opiates, I need help. Then I said, hey, I got an addiction to donuts, I need help. And I went to Jesus for help. Now what I want to do is I want to spread the gospel. Let me tell you what's going on. The body of Christ is sick. Sick, 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 sick. We're not a very bright light. Our salt has been tainted. We, nobody wants to be like the body of Christ because we're bickering and biting back and forth because our blood sugar and blood pressure. We're in a bad mood because we're sick. You don't have to be sick. You don't have to be. And 95% of every illness out there can be remedied through eating the right food. I promise you. You don't believe me? Give me a chance. Let me show you what by design fitness and nutrition can do for you. So we deal with the hormones. The hormones just fix everything. You know, some of it, some clients are a little harder than others. Some clients I struggle with. Some clients, it's like they, I had one guy lose 22 pounds in one week. Got several lose 10, 15, 20 pounds in a week. You know, so let me throw this out there. How do I say this? Let's just say this. It's not really that complicated. Either you want help or you don't. I'm here to help you. I can't help everybody. Um, but if you want help, I'm here. So reach out to me. Send me a private message. I don't care if you're in California. I don't care if you're in Australia. I don't care if you're in New York. It doesn't matter. I can help you. I will ride you. I will stay on you. I will check on you every day if you tell me to. I check on some clients three times a day. I know the ones that are struggling. And I know the ones that can just suck it up. They just need a little information. You know, my goal isn't to keep you as a client forever. My goal is just to get you on the right path. You know, share, let, have you share your results with me from time to time. You take this information to other people and let's turn this thing around. We don't have to be sick. Let's be the best light and the saltiest salt we possibly can be. You say, Ron, you sound like you're exclusively to the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. Man, I don't care who you are. I don't care your lifestyle. I don't care. I do not care. I will help you. I love you. God's put a love and a compassion in my heart. I don't care if you worship the devil. If you want help losing weight, reach out to me. I don't care. I'm going to love you. You know why? Because God called me to love, not to judge. That's right. We need to get our nose out of the Holy Spirit's business. The Holy Spirit was to, sent to convict the world. Now, I preach hard, and I preach against sin. And I ain't going to slack up on that. Never will, never will, never will. But I know how to preach in love. And I don't mean this in any other way but love. You know, so if you get offended about the preacher and the lighting up the Marlboro, well, sometimes I'm going to offend you. But I did it out of love. 
Anyway, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pray that God bless you richly. The only way you can be blessed through his only born son, Jesus the Christ. No other way. And the greatest blessing that a man can have is salvation. So if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, do yourself a favor. Do your family a favor. Do your dog a favor. Do your cat a favor. Give me a message. Find a preacher. Tell somebody that you don't want to go to hell. That you want to enjoy the abundant life that God has promised you. Y'all have a good day.